actually started to go, oh, because Samel got the block and kept the creep wave on the, on the slide high ground for the very beginning. It's, they're watching. They're watching this mid very, very closely too. Bottom lane, a lot of trouble for S4, trying to retreat. Koro, Miracle, and GH all together under the tower. S4 cannot tank through this Miracle. Will spill the perfectly. That's what the Dire Observer Ward doesn't see, however. It only sees the trees to the side. Miracle needs to be careful here. He's actually in range of dying now. Oh, He's stop. super dead. Yeah, right. Yeah. Trance positioning. So good. It's like Miracle was just trying to beat down S4 to open up the opportunity for Kuro and GH. And They're coming, and now Lina might even be getting more. There's a connection down from Shadow Demon. This is a dead ogre. And catch him out right on top oh, of got the shrine it to work with Fly. And, well, Shrine is out. Arrow flies forward. A quick movement forward from Crit. Dodges it from GH. He'll jump in for the Starfall. And there is a lot of life on Ogre. Crit's now very low. GH able to work with him at the same time. You're able to find your own kill. Tinker underneath the tower, duking out. A first item, Halberd. Samael in this game. Thought maybe he'd go the Radiance build. He's going Halberd to minimize Void's impact. Oh, uh, we have some trouble. X marked up. Even under the march of the machines, EG won't care. They'll send in the boat. Kuro and GH will arrive. We have the poison and the slave able to pick off him. Underneath the tower, Mike Troll, huge ravage. Connects over on four. A stampede. EG's canal gel freak up at the corner. Miracle is arrived. Defensive disruption for Fly. They'll buy a little bit of time for Samel, but not enough to stop for from GH once again there. The support's finding the kills. A quick anchor smash, no gush. Now it's only leveled up. Fly is slowing down. Time walks off cooldown. Three seconds time, the arrow. Looking to fly forward as well, but it's uh, all fly jumping in. Able to get the hit from Miracle. When you don't have Chrono in the enemy hole, Miracle. Oh, he just used oh, he's his time trouble. walk as well. Try and dilate them up, and maybe it's the stun chain's gonna be perfect. EG, they will claim. The kill on Miracle, and S4 jumping himself forward up the hill, and then in range of Kuro's Multicast on and the arrow, combining with the Ravage, the layer of but the damage is still there, flying to mail, being interrupted by that Ravage, and under the Moonlight Shadow, Liquid want to keep moving forward, Crit able to look for the stun, but he can't keep hitting the target because he can't see it. Meanwhile, Weeha gives the cut. It does feel like go time. The Observer Ward's nearby, my control. They're actually playing do -si do around the Maypole, and maybe Liquid, well, here he is, Miracle, does he get the Chrono off? No, they get the whole stop first! Hit with the turret, Miracle instantly dead. He can buy back and fight on top of the Shrine, but Koro, he's the next target. They've got enough damage to get through him, one after the other. EG, finding Team Liquid players. Mind Control becomes the next one. Gets his feet wet with the Torrent. Light Strike Array will also hold him, and X-Mark will bring him back. Mind Control for all that tankiness. They've already taken one third of the life off the Tidehunter. Miracle, he jumps up, he finds Crit. Already going for the quick bashes, and he actually calls some mail right on the edge of the Chronosphere. The boat will buy some space, the bash up, the man is full! It's a three-man hoofstomp into the back line. Liquid is still trying to fight within the Moonlight Shadow. The Ravage creating space from Mind Control. The Miracle is losing life so quickly. Savell and Arteezy just focus him down. They'll turn their attention towards Mind Control as he will also fall. They lose S4 in the back line's evil geniuses, but Crit, he's ready to fight again. He's gonna find Ogre. Ogre's gonna find him, however you look at it. And once again, oh, the stun is just off the mark, but the banishment will be there from Fly. GH will fall. Koro will go down to the one man standing as we crest. Oh, top lane. This is dangerous. We hust right in the trees with everybody else from Liquid. Who's jumping forward? It's Crit to show himself. Life still already starting with the inf uh, with the, with the open wounds, but GH into the trees already. Oh, the hex. Miracle hexed up already. The Ravage mind control. It hits so huge. Over on three. It's actually can maybe be enough with the boat. They don't take damage quick enough. Now Life Stealer will go down. They get through the heart. It's a mail caught by the Chronosphere. Hairsball wants to help out, but what can he do? He'll have to jump after you've actually got the Chrono down. Able to do so with the double S. Miracle. Time walk to Babel. He'll repair all the damage done. Win. And Mind Control, last record right, instantly broken up by the Kraken Shell. Liquid, not only if they take him these kills, maybe with Fly's TP up, yet yeah, it's still... Life is now completed on Weeha too. That's a really big item. The big disable to stop those EG cores, the advantage has all gone away, but now it's 4 Hoops up into the back lines, remember there's no Ravage available. The arrow flies are straight, soaked up by the rage. They just want to get one kill to begin with. Mind Control might be the easiest one, but they'll start with Koro. Four staff down, still under the sentry ward. He's going to walk out of range of the detection, and Mind Control can blink. Nothing was there to stop it. Koro is coming up to get the vision advantage. Observe a sentry down, they can see a lot. Miracle. Two players underneath the tower. There's your first hex going out over on S4. Miracle is looking for the back lines. Three of them inside the trees. Miracle found them. Artizi can't really stop it either. Arrow fights forward. Artizi can be out so that one for Miracle. He's already got the two supports down inside the jungle. And then Mind Control with the Ravage. Controls up the course. The boat's 
coming in, but the damage from afar, maybe they have enough to break the Agassi Mortal. They actually do, but he'll be back to life in just a second. Same with a buyback from Kuro, and here comes Miracle. Body block him up and time block up as easy. They tried to stampede themselves away, but it won't happen. Weeha just keeps moving forward. Artizi's rage will wear off in a second. The Hex is there over on S4. He invests them up. The Sun's on the side. They can't help. S4 stand up with a long range arrow from GH. They just keep going. One to the next. Artizi, he'll have to try and turn and fight. He's 1v5 before. Can he do it again? Samal wants to help him out. Artizi, is he big? Is he bad? Or is he dead? Miracle wants him around the trees. Looking for a time look with the gut. The armor will go down both for wounds. The torrent creates some space, but nowhere near enough. The buyback's there from S4, but now it's Conker. We keep the chase going. This began at the Radiant base, and it may end at the Dire. S4 jumps into the back lines. He's able to get at least the pick off over on GH. The Miracle still keeps going ham. S4 hangs up fly. Can't get the disruption off, so now he'll go down. He'll get it offensively, but that means he's dead to the world. Miracle jumps in. They're looking for the other guy. You forgot something. Hello? Fly <laughs> Towards the trees, up you go. We, he'll find him. Hex and blow him up with the rockets. <laughs> I'm sorry. Everyone. Like four heroes through that chase. Miracle looking for the mid tier three tower. Already claimed with the melee racks on top. Mind control. He's gone in deeper. The Chrono again. Able to catch out, Crit. Able to get fly. The support. This is the way Liquid begin their fight. They take him out, then jump down, protecting Weeha. He BKBs. He's actually glimmered away. They can't find him. Maybe they can. Samal can actually burn him down. But you've got the torrent. Little bit of space being created. Artesian and Samal once again have to work together with Miracle. He is godlike looking for the quad. If he can jump in forward, and yes, he can. Time block. They are batched to oblivion and GG! Team Liquid, patience was a virtue heavily displayed in this series, but they win it 43. You can't stop the safe leader from CSing. Your Iron Shell level 1 is even worse. And we've also got a level 1 bounty rune fight going out all on S4. Kuro does so much damage after he got the spirit over three different heroes. Fly, he won't live through this. There's too much damage from Kuro. One more will do it. Up the hill it goes. It's like they're trying to stop the Alchemist as well from moving off the lane. Uh, Timber's definitely going to get up in Weeha's face. There's no doubt about that. Rolling ball to the fact they're going to try and get up a little bit harder. Some mail! Healy arrived with the Avalanche toss combination. Kuro, low on life as well. Some mail. He's got tree in hand. And as Tiny will run under the tower, the tree toss able to connect. Crit. He's got rolling ball. Come back over here. He's under attack. They need to get bounties, EG. Miracle's gonna kill him. Too many runes again. Flies too far forward. Spirit jump in. You got support from Artizi, but I think he realizes he can't really help off. All they can do is buy a little bit of time for Samel to grab the rune, but just just surged over Miracle. He wants to stand there, and who's gonna get it? Actually, well, it was still Miracle who bolted up the bounty rune. Samel trying to toss him up with the spirits. Commit off from Miracle. He doesn't want to back off. Samel have no breathing room. Flying will arrive, but it's already done. Samel is dead. Mind control, Kuro, GH. Almost everybody is here apart from the Alchemist. And he doesn't need to be. Artizi picked up, Rage is available. He wants to invest into the Centaur, able to do so. Pops back out again. Mind Control, they make a copy of him. That won't really help. Artizi, Rage TPs out to safety. Oh, Fly's in trouble again. Oh. Look where he is. Oh, this will be yet another death. That the combat build. I don't think the Radiance build is going to work in this game. You're under way too much pressure, time-wise. Ichi's having a nap under the tier one. GH is waiting for the denial. Extra TP's oh, coming in. S4 it. does get the last hit. GH still in trouble. Raging up, moving away. The avalanche and the splitter. EG's trying to move away. Fly! Snap back in again. He'll go down. GH trying to hide the tree lines. The spirit jumping forward from Miracle. He's found some L in the back. And then with the toss, at least some L has some distance. We has chasing him with the spirit. He's sandwiched in between We as well as Miracle. Finally, some L will fall. And maybe with the timber chain away, S4 can survive. We has low in life. Artizi, he won the kill. The rolling boulder. Kuro, he tanked it for the team and then runs to the other side come and chase me the rest of my team will survive even if i die that's all they did that's easy having his own little battle with miracle we have jumped in it's a consumption as easy wasn't ready for it he's got infest available he's used it instantly and maybe with the armor toggle he'll buy some space flies coming in too the et stop cancelled off here by fly thanks to the disruption and does he have a path out of here life stealer he's hiding for the moment and we have he doesn't care he'll dive under the t4 tier, tier one tower taking out fly S4 is nearby, but where is Artizi? He's still inside the creep wave. He'll jump back out again. It's a great magnetizer from Chris. Mind Control having a hard time getting away. Disruption will be up. So is the ET splitter. Kuro's going to snap them all together with a back back in. EG unwillingly thrown into the canyon. A miracle will willingly throw him back over towards S4 to try and kill him. We have already done the job on Samael.
And Evil Geniuses, it's Fly who's the one to survive. He went 4-4-0 here because I think with just one point in silence there, he can silence multiple heroes that are bound up by the Magnetites. Maybe the outlook of that fight is completely different. Great concoction from Weeha. Just trying to stop uh, S4. Oh man, and how many stuns have they got? S4 just can't tip it in to save his life. Samael, he wants to jump in as well. That's not the toss that he was really looking for. And now it's just Weeha, chemically raged up, beating into this Tiny. He can never blink away. Weeha, in fact, blinks himself forward. Tiny can cock it up too. And Weeha, a double kill for him. It's like EG are falling apart at the seams and... Well, Liquid happy to put it in. There's that purge going to work. Miracle under the tier two down side of fist. He dodges the rolling in from Cripple. He'll still end up going down. Cripple claimed that kill, in fact. But here's your ET splitter once more. Now giving Weeha a triple kill. Crit, he'll jump away. And that's rounding up. Oh, they want to fight mid. He's going to go in. Blink concoction. They start over on Crit. Flies nearby. Defensive destruction already going to begin. But Weeha still wants to battle into Arteezy. And here we go again with the stomp. The wall is down. Arteezy makes a copy of himself. Stop hitting yourself. As then the pull back. Crit can't get away. Miracle rejoins the fight against himself. A double kill. Searing chains. S4. Defensive your scepter. He's got chain available. But they've got the stomp. Perfectly timed from Koro. A triple kill for Miracle. An evil genius. Oh, so fast. There is <laughs> Just trying to stop Weeha's regeneration with a chemical rage up, but here comes Miracle. Agonim's buffed up. You got the BKB for protection. That's easy. Maybe they have some damage to kill off Miracle. The side of Fist will do some work, but he's still got one charge that's available too. S4 has to chain himself away to safety. Weeha, he's ready to blink. Concoction's up, and there's a double stun. Backwall combination. That's how you do it. Two heroes down. They'll buy back the tier three tower has fallen. The team Liquid clinical. They will back up from this the space for Weeha. The spirit's out on top of them too. So Kuro can come in with some damage, a searing chain. Again, Timbersaw controlled this time around. That's easy, gonna rage and dodge the stomp. But this is all cut the fire. Multiple layers of protection as Weeha claims the lane of Rax with no this stomp. But Weeha's back in once again. While Miracle? Mid Miracle is just soloing up the ES, hitting the back lines with Weeha under the tier four towers. No place is safe. S4 defensive yule scepter up again, but the concoction will connect, and Weeha has the double kill. No bike back for S4. Same for Fly. And that's easy, it's just wondering, what do I do? I'm beating my head against a wall. While Weeha is beating his blades against my tower. Now Miracle, back in again. Another searing chain. GH with a blink pickup. They've got some time. Buyback comes in from Arteezy. As the avalanche from Samael. It's just a nibble on the back of my control and we Here we go, concoction again. Oh, back up together, finish it in style. This game's over. There's no way EG can defend this. They've got no heroes. There is no more chances. Liquid, they win 2-0. Oh.